Hello, hello, and hi. I still don't know what name I want to go by, so I'm just gonna go right into it. I'm just gonna go right into it. Um, I wanted to talk about Maroon's five latest album, Jody. Um, that kind of came out a few months ago. I believe it was June. Yeah, their album came out in June 2021, and I just wanted to quickly give my opinion, I guess, on how I felt about the album. So. Altogether, the album was a lot shorter than any true crime pod episode I ever listened to. It took me forever to listen to it from to back, from title, um, song to outro. It took me forever to listen to. It took me months. I knew it came out in June. I didn't fully listen to it until about a week ago. I guess. I didn't feel connected to any of the songs that were um, in the album. There's only like two songs out of 12 or 14, depending on if you're listening to the regular or the, the deluxe, that I actually enjoyed listen to, listening to. And one of them plays at my job nonstop, so I kind of have to like it. And then the other one, I mean, I just like it because I do. Um, I just feel like this album was any other album that Moon 5 has been coming out with in more recent years. It's just Lost Love and Broken Heart and Baby Please Come Back. That's just all I got from this album. There was no character development, I guess. I don't know what I was looking for from this album, but I, I feel like I was just disappointed. Um, listening to it and it just felt like a whole nother oh I can't make love work album when the last one was like that red pills blue it was kind of the same to me um, I tried to maybe see if I judged the album a little too harshly by listening to the title track being called beautiful mistakes so I just thought this song has to be about how you can't get love right. That's what the album is. Roll the credits. But I did some research, meaning I scrolled through Wiki for about five minutes, and I found out that there is one particular song off the album that is a little more than just can't get, can't make love work. Um, Memories is about, or is dedicated to um, Adam Levine's childhood friend. Jordan, Jordan Feldstein, who I didn't know was um, Jonah Hill's brother until that wonderful re wiki research I did. <laughs> I went through and I was like, oh snap, oh no. It turns out that Jordan, I'm gonna continue talking about him using the name Jordan. Um, turns out he died from PE which is a very terrible lung condition symptoms and the conditions and the complications and it's really bad it can lead to literally any other disease out there it's heartbreaking to know that his friends and family had to see jordan the way that he did and I couldn't even imagine how Jordan felt on his last days because you're just in so much pain you just want to rest I just I couldn't even I don't know how <sighs> then that song memories being dedicated to Jordan Philstein all the other songs were literally the same it was the same song with different lyrics and different sounds 12 times, <laughs> how, that's how I feel. Um, I try to give it a fair listen, but every time I would listen to it thoroughly, I would just dissociate and zone out and I would forget to actively listen. It would just play in the background and I'll come back and be like, I didn't even hear the song. <laughs> I wasn't even listening. It completely, just completely went over my head. I know every artist when it comes to making an album and putting out music you're able to do it in any way that you want because it's your music it's your sound it's your message but i felt like 
listening to it, it kind of just felt like a collab album that had 15 to 20 different genres on it. That's a little bit of an exaggeration because there's only 12 songs, but I felt like there were more genres than different ways you can say, baby, please come back in the album. And it was just, I got a whole lot of whiplash. There was R&B, there was country, there was trap. And I'm just like, none of this really says Maroon 5. Cause it's, aren't they supposed to be like soft rock? <laughs> aren't they supposed to be a band? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly feel like Room 5 is losing their authenticity. Wow. I knew I was gonna show them with that word. And here I am trying to say it. It's losing their authenticity. It's, it could be because of their loss, but I feel like they were starting to lose it from their last album, Red Pills Blue. It started doing doing there. It could be because of the pandemic. You probably lost your drive. Don't know who you are anymore. A lot of people have went through a lot during the pandemic, so I can't really say. Can't be. I can't judge too harshly. If it is that, is what I want to say. I just feel like they have lost the flavor the sound that i love listening to when i was growing up but they're not too much of a band anymore i feel like more they're a group that collabs with other artists to stay in the limelight stay relevant and i hate to say that because it sounds mean but that's my opinion i just feel like they collab with everybody so they're like oh my god they've collabed with black bear oh my god they've collabed with megan the stallion which is fine. Collab. Share your music and blend your tastes together, but don't completely make it one artist's sound and go, yes, we collab together. It's not really a collab. It's just you throwing your words onto something that they would sing. I got windy outside. Just a word. <laughs> well, the takeaway. I feel like if I didn't force myself to listen to this song thoroughly, at first, I normally, when I go to listen to a full album, I would play the intro all the way through chrono chronologically in order. Um, but this time, I just kind of played and it played the sixth track, which is Seasons, and I like that song. That's the song that I will listen to on repeat, Free Will. I love that song. If I didn't force myself to really sit down and go, hey, front to back listen to this album seasons would have been the only song that i listened to because the rest of them just they didn't ring to me they didn't sing to me in any way they'll go hey you deserve to be on my favorite songs that i will listen to later maybe my favorites on my spotify only one song is on there and that's seasons i feel like this album had an opportunity to be more than just a hodgepodge of sounds thrown together in some kind of order that talked about more about broken relationships and past and not being able to do it right not being able to love correctly especially because they've had such an altering a life altering event happen in their group I feel like you could have really taken that emotion and brought it out in this album rather than just dedicating one song you know I, you know what <laughs> I can't hate on maroon 5 too much on the music that they make and how well they do because when they produce music they hit the charts they get number ones and they make the 100 but to a fan that listen to every album thoroughly and would bump it whenever would actually put it on a playlist that would play when their friends come over i can't say that any of these songs would really be on there because they've done nothing for me sorry um i just hope that they come out with a different topic to talk about 
please. Please. <laughs> please. That is all that I have. I didn't really care for the album. I, if I had to rate it, I'd give it about a 4 out of 10. Definitely not passing. The vibe check, it did not. <laughs> it was not checked out. <laughs> it did not pass at all. Um, I just hope to see better work from now. The next album. That's all I have. See you, bye-bye.